We will never begin to worship God until we recognize that we are bankrupt debtors for an attitude of gratitude is an indispensable impediment to worship. Like skilled gourmet chefs spicing up their delicacies, scripture writers sprinkle their words with admonitions and exhortations regarding gratitude, frequently tying it together with worship. For example, in the midst of the dark catalog of humanity's journey away from God, the Apostle Paul laid the blame of our unwillingness to glorify God or give thanks to him in Romans 1.21, where the Bible says that instead of glorifying God, we made creatures into the creator in our own mind. Similarly, the author of Hebrews grounds our worship of God in gratitude. He writes, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. It is impossible to worship God without gratitude. It is impossible to be grateful while clinging to self-sufficiency and entitlement at the same time. Yes, there is some vulnerability in gratitude uh, sincerely expressed, but that is because we are relational beings with whose deepest needs can only be met in partnership with others and ultimately with God. While an attitude of entitlement is an impediment to gratitude, an attitude of gratitude is an indispensable impediment to worship. Show me a person whose life is characterized by gratitude, and I will show you a person whose soul is poised to worship God. Now, by way of introduction, let me just lay biblical groundwork for that and then dive into Philemon. Remember this story? This Christmas, listen carefully. Luke 14, 12. Then Jesus also said to them who invited him, when you give a dinner or a supper, do not ask your neighbors, your friends, your brothers, your relatives, nor your rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Wow. Something inside of us likes to keep a list of who we owe. And it robs us from ever genuinely having gratitude and worshiping God for placing people in our lives that would do such. Now, with that being said, I want to dive in and talk about gratitude. And we want to do it from the life of Philemon and his letter from Paul as it pertains to a runaway slave by the name of Onesimus. Onesimus. 